Dear brothers and sisters in Christian faith and belief of God and His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, it is some kind of race if not a full-blown fight to control our mind. Being Christian is not mean to be dull and docile to take in the information of surrounding reality how and as come through our senses. They are too many who want us to be simple followers, they are too many that want us to be brainwashed, thinking that we are worthless flock, followers, and mindless executioners. Being like that is not pleasing God or do not mean following Jesus Christ. I have a great hope that insanity will stop the useless spending of money on filling the divide and conquer endless money pit here is one sentence that for a logical and wise mind will create a panoramic reality imaging of the evil roots of devilish deception and evil materialization. Over the past 30 years, the Americans had 13 wars spending $40.2 trillion was said at World Economic Forum in Davos. That is more than $286,000 for every taxpayer. Used for absolute nothing useful, constructive, or Christian. And the insanity continued by transferring money galore from hard-working people to bankers and special interest industry. The year 2008, the financial crisis wiped out $19.2 trillion in the USA alone and destroyed 34 million jobs globally. All because the psychopathic kleptomaniac people evil plans to enrich themselves no matter what and how many life they destroy, another number just think. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, the United States spent $596 billion, or 3.3% of its GDP, on military expenditure in 2015 alone, hope soon with the new President Trump all this insanity will end. In this light he will really reconsider spending stopping the root of many social economic problems, I really hope he will terminate taxation and restitution of least the money what was illegally taken from us, I am mentioning least the money because if considering somebody who worked 30 years, 13.5 years of also time, also energy, and also health was stolen. I am so hopping good, freedom and justice will return to all hard-working people I pray to God Almighty our God who has unlimited power, unlimited love, compassion, and mercy to act on our behalf and all this exploitation to become history, a forgotten nightmare. Justice to prevail for all and each taxpayer to receive a check with the sum of what was deducted from their paychecks for decades. Notice I mentioned just the illegal payroll tax, tax on work equals slavery. I do not mention sales tax, property tax, and the whole basket of fees. Did you also hear how President Trump mentioned that he will stop the carnage on middle class people a retransfer of money to the rightful owners us the working people will be one of the most honest, brilliant, great step to bust the economy to bust people moral and to make America great a real beacon of liberty and justice a real example for the world to follow. Oh God so help us. Let's try to regain our freedom, our personal sovereignty, let's regain the balance in the society. God and God's Son Jesus Christ our Savior, bless you all. Dear brothers and sisters,